Colgate Rochester Crozier Divinity School is mourning the loss of its first ever African American president. Dr. James Evans Jr. served as president of the school for 10 years and passed away late last week. Houston NBC's Patrick Musinak talked to the school's current president about Dr. Evans and the legacy he leaves behind. He joins us now with more. Patrick? Dr. Evans is most remembered by the school for nearly 30 years of service to the school's theology students and the greater Rochester community as well. Even as persons were preparing for the possibility of what if, none of us were ever prepared adequately for the deep loss of his death. For decades, the Reverend Dr. James Evans Jr. served many roles at the Colgate Rochester Crozier Divinity School, but it was his role as president of the seminary between 1990 and 2000 what he's remembered for the best. Prior to that, current president Reverend Angela Sims says he was a faculty member. Dr. Evans joined the faculty right after his PhD was conferred from Union Theological Seminary. And the semester or two prior to that, he served as a lecturer at the school. And at that time, the school was Colgate Rochester Divinity School slash Bexley Hall. Sims remembers Evans as a scholar and author of several books, including We Shall All Be Changed and We Have Been Believers. Evans is also known for his achievements. He is the only president emeritus of this institution, but he was also granted faculty emeritus status. But Dr. Evans remained actively engaged, not only in the Guild, um, just last year, he was one of the plenary speakers at the Society for the Study of Black Religion. Evans established a program for the study of women and gender in church and society. That program really said to not only the greater Rochester area, but to the world, that CRCDS was taking its commitments to women seriously. As for his legacy? I am hopeful that his example of mentoring of guiding will be replicated by the persons in whom he invested time, energy, and resources. So far, the Evans family have not released the cause of death, but Dr. Evans is survived by his wife, three children, and four grandchildren.